Sydney Roosters, um, they're coming home strong, aren't they? One of the teams that I thought would be timing their run quite well were the Parramatta Eels. I've been saying that to everybody all year, probably because I picked them at the start of the year. But to be honest, they are up and down like a yo-yo. I really can't pick the Parramatta Eels, but I'm going to stick with them because I did at the start of the season. I had a feeling about them, but they'd better get going quickly. The only thing that they are consistent with is being inconsistent. That said, there is a champion team that seems to be coming home strong right now, and that is that is the Sydney Roosters. I've had a comment already, which I'll go to. Taylor, thanks for that comment. But the Sydney Roosters are coming home strong by the look of things. They seem to have a few more bodies on deck. They've got class all over the park. <coughs> Um, I noticed this week that Tedesco was talking about positional change potentially into the halves and he has played that before including in our school team Taylor who's watching right now but also he's done that uh, for Italy in the Rugby League World Cup and in qualifiers so that was mentioned this week. So the evolution of the Roosters is still upon us, it's still happening, um, everyone was writing them off early particularly when they lost to Newcastle in round one, I remember that game very clearly and the shock I, I felt in round one but they seem to be timing their run. And I think that the NRL is more and more about timing. I feel that the physical demands are harder than ever. I remember being at Manly when we won the Premiership in 08 and Crusher Cleal said at the time that it was all about timing. Well, that was nearly 14 years ago. Well, 14 years ago, exactly, in a few weeks. And they were talking about physical demands then. So can you imagine how the game has evolved in those 14 years physically? And all you have to do is look at the injury rates at the NRL every week basically but if you look at about round eight every year every nrl squad resembles a, a, a mash unit i'll just take this moment now before i go to another subject just to look at some of the comments daryl fox go the roosters the old gardener the old rooster even um taylor thanks for your comment mate roosters will be in the g in the gf experience x factor and aggression i think across the park they're the most balanced side in the competition can't disagree with you lad for the first time ever, I actually agree with you. And Nick Fletcher, I've got your comment here. I'm going to be going to that uh, a little bit later on. Thank you so much. So, yeah, so please just send your comments through. I'll be here for a while. 